after taking the course, I think you will be able to do a couple of things. One of them is uh, you will be more familiar with tools that you will not, not necessarily were familiar with before. Uh, we have over the four weeks, in the first week we look at social media, at the second week we will be looking at mapping, in the third week we will be looking at mobile technologies, and in the fourth week we will be looking at technologies that are kind of at the horizon, like you know, the use of drones and things like that. So I think you know a lot of people they know about one of these areas, but they don't know about all these areas. And we're going to be touching on all of them. But you will also be able to, I hope, critically analyze you know whether this is useful for your program and for for what you're doing. Because I think for me it's very important that it's not about it's not just about the technology, but it's about technologies that make sense in your context. And so we will be talking a lot about. Uh, good and bad examples, and for me, it's very important to discuss with the course participants to say, like, yeah, but you know, could you use that in the field, or is this something that is only relevant if you are like in a highly developed country? So, why should my manager pay for this, or at least uh, give me some work time uh, to focus on the coursework? I think it's it gives a very broad overview. And a lot of the things that we're looking at, it's not just the individual technologies, but kind of the ideas. So I'm not so much worried about looking at, you know, this is Facebook and this is Twitter, but it's about like, you know, understanding how does uh, communication work today in a time where we have networked communication. And those are very transferable skills. At the same time, you know, with some of the more um, uh, concrete technologies, if you want, like, for example, OpenStreetMap or... Uh, some of the things like frontline SMS that we're looking at, those are actually things that you can use pretty much immediately in programs and that are being used. I think it's also a good way to see it, for example, how are these things currently being used in the Ebola response or how were they used after Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines um, so that you can inform your own programs with that. So why should my uh, staff development or um, HR people support me in uh, taking this course? I think your staff development and HR people, you know, should support this course because it is, it is real skill development. What you're looking at is these technologies, they are coming. A lot of them are actually already there. And I think if you are just, you know, stagnant and don't take a little bit of time to understand, you know, what is coming, uh, then, you know, in a year or two, you'll have a, you'll have a real problem. Um, I mean, already now we are seeing that, for example, you know, social media has become much more important in looking at situational awareness. These are all things that are developing and your organization should not be left behind the curve. So how will this course help me to deliver for my organization or to find my next, how will, how will it help me find my next job or my next mission? If you're looking at how this course will like help your organization, then I think you it, it will depend a little bit, obviously, on the concrete program you're doing. Right? Um, but I think, for example, the mapping component is one that I'm really proud of in this course uh, because we have seen in the last couple of responses that mapping is something that is not just you know for cartographers or people who or for logisticians, but that it is something that can make a big difference in program delivery, including like you know epidemiology, wash, all these kind of things like public health. Um, so I think it will help you understand how to use technology um, precisely for whatever your uh, specific program is and which things you can ignore. I think that's very important. At the same time, a lot of these things are also good selling points when you are uh, talking to somebody who's doing recruitment and then you can just say like, you know what, these are also things that I'm familiar with. So you can definitely add it to your resume as you know, skills that you have acquired. The, um, uh, the uh, schedule of the curriculum for the course um, focuses, seems to focus a lot on technical skills. Um, yet everyone, uh, there's a pretty broad consensus on the need for critical thinking, analytical and leadership skills as being key to delivering um, in, in the humanitarian interventions. Do you think that your course can help with one or more of these aspects? And if so, how? I definitely hope that the course also um, trains you in critical thinking. And I think that's a lot like where my role as a facilitator comes in. 
I know that a lot of times tech tools are being shown by engineers. And while I love engineers, they frequently don't have field experience. I'm somebody who's now worked in the humanitarian world like for seven years. I've been deployed to a lot of really big disasters. I've seen a lot of technologies being introduced that don't work. And I also appreciate that there is uh, that there are certain parameters under which you have to work. So for me personally, it's very important to discuss with all the course participants that you know these are the things that you have to keep in mind and also discuss, you know, okay, a lot of people are, for example, uh, talking about, let's say, drones at the moment. The drones are something that's a very popular subject. And I, you know, in one part of the course, I want to discuss that and say, like, what are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? Can they actually be used in this way or can they be used in another way? So that you're really starting to think about, like, okay, does this technology make sense? And not just, oh, you know, this is a shiny new tool that's going to be fun to use. So the uh, course is being offered through an organization called Tech Change. Is this an accredited um, institution of, of learning? Uh, why not deliver this course through a traditional university? Um, Tech Change is a, it, it's a private company based in, uh, in Washington, D.C., so it's not through a university but they are working closely together with a lot of the donors and, and other communities that we have here. Um, I, they've been around for a couple of years. The reason why it's not offered through university, I think it's partly because not everybody who takes this course will be eligible to study at a university. Like I've you know, been part of this course a few times now, and we actually also, we always have like a few people who also come from, you know, developing countries and um, and they might, you know, they're practitioners. Like last time, you know, we had somebody who was, a, I think it was a wash engineer. Another time we had somebody who was like local staff working in protection. And, uh, you know, these people are, are taking the course and might not have university credentials. So how does a communication specialist uh, become an online instructor? What was the process? by which you, you've learned to, to teach online? And what's been your experience of teaching online? Well, I think this goes back a little while. Like before I worked in the humanitarian sector, I actually worked as a journalist for nearly 10 years. And also like already at uni, I taught classes um, simply because I enjoy teaching. And I even got, at some point, I got myself a little degree in like teaching English. So, you know, teaching is something I've always enjoyed. Um, doing it online um, was also a new experience for me because I was a little critical of that in the beginning. Um, but I actually took one of the tech change courses uh, a couple of years ago because I was interested. And I just thought like, oh, you know, this is a platform I really enjoy. And then, you know, we started talking about like, you know, what, what I could do maybe to work with them. And that was the journey. 